January 20th, St. Sebastian, Martyr. St. Sebastian was an officer in the Roman army, esteemed even by the pagans as a good soldier, and honored by the church ever since as a champion of Jesus Christ. Being born in southern France, Sebastian came to Rome about the year 284 and entered the lists against the powers of evil. He found the twin brothers Marcus and Marcellinus in prison for the faith, and when they were close to yielding and apostatizing because of the entreaties of their relatives, he encouraged them to despise flesh and blood and to die for Christ. God confirmed his works by miracles. Light shone around him while he spoke. He cured the sick by his prayers, and in this divine strength he led multitudes to the faith, among them the prefect of Rome with his son Tibertius. He saw his disciples die before him, and one of them came back from heaven to tell him that his own end was near. It was in a contest of fervor and charity that St. Sebastian found the occasion of martyrdom. The governor prefect of Rome was converted to the faith, and afterwards he retired to his estates in Campiana, taking with him a great number of his fellow converts. It was a question of whether Polycarp the priest or St. Sebastian should accompany the neophytes to safety. Each was eager to stay and face the danger at Rome. Finally, the Pope decided that the Roman Church could not spare the services of Sebastian, who therefore remained amid the perils in the city. He continued to labor at his post of danger until he was betrayed by a false disciple. He was led before Diocletian, and, at the emperor's command, he was pierced with arrows and left for dead. However, God raised him up again through the efforts of a pious woman named Irene, who took care of him, and his wounds were healed. Sebastian again approaches the emperor and reproaches him for the persecutions of the Christians. The emperor, in response, has Sebastian taken to the circus and beaten to death. As we can see, St. Sebastian was a young military man who was living in Milan, who resolved to go to Rome to help the Catholics who were in prison awaiting their execution. There were two kinds of Catholics who faced martyrdom. First, we have the true martyrs who faced death and considered it an honor to die for the church. But the second, those who were called the lapsi, the ones who became afraid to die and denied the faith. After that shameless sin, some returned to the catacombs to ask forgiveness and remained there, spreading their cowardice to those around them. The number of martyrs was great, but the number of lapsi was also high, and the later exerted a bad influence over the entire group. St. Sebastian, therefore, went to the very center of the persecution with the intention of helping the prisoners. He obviously realized he was exposing himself to the persecution. He was known by the emperors and was chosen by them to be a commander of the Praetorian Guard. Notwithstanding his position, St. Sebastian confronted the emperor. When questioned, he defended the Catholic faith. For this reason, he was taken to the famous column where he was bound and shot with countless arrows. He survived and later had another trial and was condemned to death, this time he died. You can imagine the young man with the aura of the grandeur, power, and prestige of a commander around him. When he goes in charity to see some old men and women and others in prison, he stimulates them to preserve, to stand firm in the good position, and to be eager to meet our Lord. He knew naturally that his action would be denounced and bring martyrdom for himself. But he tranquilly faced such a risk, he who was accustomed to face risk. He faced it with that superior deliberation of a man who had chosen to take up the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. He did not tremble. He did not hesitate. He always remained master of himself, always heroic. During the two martyrdoms he suffered, he kept the same tranquil attitude, the serenity of a soldier facing death, the soldier of our Lord and Our Lady.